you can I would like to remind that they are so the infinite the insulin infinity is not the same for all the tissues. The brain doesn't need insulin for glucose uptake. The liver needs only little insulin, but for the fat and muscles they need a lot of insulin for a glucose uptake. In a case of insulin resistance, these organs have a problem with lipid synthesis. Uh, they have increased lipolysis occurring in the adipose tissue. So the etiology of beta cell dysfunction for insulin resistance will come severe. It will lead to diabetes mellitus because of the beta cell dysfunction. This is again the genetics, lipotoxicity, glucose toxicity, cytokines, loss of beta cells and amyloid accumulation. So among the many functions of insulin and lipid metabolism, if you can remember all but this lipolysis and lipogenesis, insulin fever, lipogenesis, and lack of insulin will cause lipolysis. And that lipolysis leading to free fatty acids in the bloodstream making uh, ectopic fat deposition and lipotoxicity. I don't know whether obesity leads to insulin resistance or insulin resistance causes obesity. I think Professor Tinsuela know much better than me regarding about that. I don't know which is a chicken or which, which is an egg, but this obesity will lead to insulin resistance and insulin resistance, people are obese. <clears throat> So, as Professor Wenai said, this obesity and insulin resistance leads to metabolic syndrome. People will become metabolically unhealthy with insulin resistance and obesity. They can be termed as a metabolic syndrome when their abdominal obesity, the waist circumference, fulfill then. 102 centimeter for men and 88 centimeter for women, or elevated triglycerides, low HDL, high blood pressure, and hyperglycemia. When they fulfill this criteria, they can be labeled as metabolic syndrome. And this metabolic syndrome, the main etiology is the problem with the adipose tissue. Because our adipose tissue has a Capacity a look is a limited capacity to expand. Rasaja naisa waja nai warao adipose tissue wa makan nai mo tu male certain limit chira. A limit jo tuara ne then becomes a problem. So this obesity and insulin resistance leads to lipid excess, leading to, as I've said, ectopic lipid accumulation in the organs other than adipose tissue. That is the liver, muscles, pancreas, anywhere the lipids are accumulated, leading to lipotoxicity. So the lipotoxicity, when there's an increased lipolysis because of the reduced insulin action, there's free fatty acid mobilization in the body, leading to fat deposition in the liver, pancreas, muscle, which leads to uh, reduced glucose utilization, insulin secretion, increased gluconeogenesis, hyperglycemia leading to fat or lipogenesis, and so on. Seafirm, caring for well-being.